In this tutorial, we talk about interior lighting, about kitchen design and landscape. So let's get to work. So I can switch to my previous camera shot that I created before this tutorial. So I'm going to click on the kitchen number one in here. And this is my main shot. So as you can see, some brightness, angle and position. All of them set before this tutorial. And I only check it out with the camera setting. So I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting in here and choose the uh, field of view. But before I do this job, I'm going to move the visual setting a little bit to the left side and reduce the field of view as I can to some type of decade number about maybe 50 and 50 degree horizontal is the good number for me right now. I will increase the rendering quality to the high mode and right now I'm going to turn on the depth of field. So I only want to focus on the uh, bodies and the uh, wood polygons. So I'm going to check out the uh, autofocus. I'm going to turn it off and I can play with the focal point to reach to the better result. I think some place with more objects like the uh, cups, tap and flower is better place for focusing. So 6.56 is the best number. So as you can see when you focus on these lifts in here and when I decrease or increase the depth of field I can see the changes much better. So some number about 9% is acceptable for this render but as you know that this render is a little bit too dark how we can fix it out without any type of artificial light like the uh, spotlight and some other things so i'm going to show you that so i'm going to click on the uh, visual setting in here turn off the uh, auto exposure and re-expose my screen manually it depends on some number about 57 percent if you turn on the auto exposure, your relighting will be much better and improvable. 69% is good and I think it's done for me right now. I can click on the uh, image bar in here, turn on the uh, auto contrast. So in this place, we have some job with the uh, image correction. So if I increase the uh, saturation, as you can see, darkness will be increased and it depends on the uh, color temperature. So before you increase the saturation, play with the uh, color temperature and reach to the better color result you want. Some number about 7600 Kelvin is good, motion blur is zero, and saturation can be increased to the 104%. In the bloom and lens flare, I want to turn off both of them because right now I need some super clear render. About the Vignate, I can increase it to some type of number about 44% and chromatic observation is zero. Let's get to the atmosphere bar. In the atmosphere bar, you can control the fog option and all illuminations. I will turn off the fog option because I need some clear global illumination calculation. So some brightness, when I decrease it, as you can see, this will happen and it completely depends on you but most of the time you can set it on some brighter number higher than 100 but right now i can decrease it a little bit to some type of number about maybe 26 it helps you to control your interior lights much better night sky is not useful and shadow sharpness can be decreased to the soft shadows artificial light brightness related to the uh, spotlights in the uh, 3D model, if I want to show you, I have some spotlights under this place and I want to turn all of them on to help my environment get much brighter. So before I do this work, I'm going to click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor, click on the uh, Paint Bucket, Sample Paint, and pick up these face texture, light spot number one, and I want to change the type of it from generic to the self eliminate it helps me to create better brighting in my screen when i come back to the render it's not showing well because now we are in the daylight mode but you can turn it on by the visual setting atmosphere and artificial light brightness when i increase the artificial light brightness you can see some type of shades and powers on this wall and it's really good 170 is good number for it right now 
So I'm going to click on the ambient brightness and increase it as I can. When I decrease it, as you can see, darkness will be increased. But right now we need some more brightness power shot. So some number about 94 is good. 176 is good. And wind is not really important. The point is that in the skybox, I turn off all of the clouds. And the point is that we don't have any type of clouds for better reflection and lighting. So everything is done for me right now. I only have some work with the uh, 3D modeling details. So I'm going to click on these bar in here and move it a little bit to the forward about 3.2 centimeter. Close the groups in here. Kitchen number one selected. I will turn back to the uh, Enscape environment in this place. And now you can see some type of lights in there. But these lights have some intersection with the uh, sunlight. And it's not really good. So how we can fix this problem? You only need to minimize the Enscape to the right side and sketch up to the left side. And now you can check one of these lights. Click on the uh, Enscape objects and play with the aluminum's intensity. I want to decrease it to some number about maybe something like that can be good or I can add it manually about 30. Now I can feel the slides much better. So I use some type of IS profile. You can download these IS profile below this video. I upload the link for you. More than 30 realistic IS lights can help your interior rendering. So. I think everything is good for me, but how I can improve this lighting system? Very simple. You only need to click on the Enscape Material Editor, Sample Paint, and pick up this color, Plastic number 3. And when I decrease the roughness, as you can, in some places we have better reflection and lighting. So you can control your light power with the roughness and reflection. That's one of the ways. And it's really helpful. So I will come back to the Enscape, turn off the uh, save frame in here, click on the asset library, change my category to the uh, lights, and I want to pick up one of these lights for this roof in here. Some type of modern light with some modern design. It's actually sailing light, so I'm gonna search for it in the uh, asset library. It takes a little bit of time, and after that, you will select your favorite lighting maybe something about the uh something about for example maybe this one can be good i can add it to my job but it's a little bit too maybe messy but it's good for now i can add it and click on the uh, apply changes so i'm gonna close it in here Press F, kitchen number one. And as you can see, you fill the screen with one light. And it's really good. So I can turn on the safe frame in here. And if I want to add some more lights for these lights, I can use spotlights and other things like that. At the final, I'm going to turn back to the visual setting and increase the uh, exposure. Some number about 84 is good and i will close it i think everything is done for me and now time for the uh, rendering in the kitchen design as you can see we have some high detailed edges you can click on the visual setting and add some outline to improve this problem some number about six is good and i think everything is done right now but outside is not really realistic what i can do for this job I can move to the outside like this, a little bit, something like that. And I want to click on the uh, asset library again. Pick up one of these vegetations. For example, something like that. Here, 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 and here, for example. And some another vegetation like this. Apply changes. View management and kitchen number one. Everything is done for me. So I'm going to click on the uh, screenshot in here and I will save it on my 
desktop with any name I want. So I'm going to click on the save. If this content is useful for you, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. It's really help us and your support is really valuable for us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time and goodbye.